merry bells keep ringing May your every wish come true Happy holidays Happy holidays May the calendar keep ringing Happy holidays to you If you're burdened down with trouble If your nerves are wearing thin Park your load down the road And come to Holiday Inn If the traffic noise affects you Like a squeaky violin Kick your cares down the stairs And come to Holiday Inn If you can't find somebody who Will set your heart a whirl Get in your car and motor to The home of boy meets girl If you're laid up with a breakdown Throw away your vitamins Don't get worse Grab your nurse and come to Holiday Inn Happy Holiday Happy Holiday May the calendar be free Happy Holiday Silent wish 
Sails the seven seas The winds of change Whisper in the trees And the walls of love This comes to pass When a child is born A rosy heat Settles all around You've got the feel You're on solid ground For a spell or two No one seems for This comes to pass when a child is born. It's all a dream and illusion. All across the land, dawns a brand new moon. This comes to pass when a child is born. Hello Con Wiser and welcome to our third day of Wiser Got Talent auditions. We are excited to see what today has in store. Let's get right into things and begin with our first performer. Our first performer will be Alex who will be singing. Well, you did a beautiful job, and that was my wedding song, so mm. you got me. <laughs> you have a really beautiful voice, and your pronunciation, you could, your words were really clear. Um, I, the only criticism, or even just not criticism, but um, recommendation would be to look up more, look at the camera more, but you did a really nice job. Okay, now I'm just curious. Is it the same chords as on a guitar? Okay. See, now I learned something new. But yeah, so do you play the guitar also? Yes. That's amazing. I think the ukulele is something neat to have because it's different. So I'm, I'm glad you did that. And I thought the tone of, of the music and your voice worked very well together. One was not overpowering the other one. Good. I think you did a really nice, you have a very nice voice. You have a very beautiful voice. I think that was a really good choice of song for you. Um, 
did you forget a couple words or were you a little tiny nervous or were you just pausing? I couldn't tell. Um, nervous but also like stylish. Yeah. So just make sure that you're really ready to go, that you've practiced, 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 and, and, but I really, you have a very lovely voice. Thank you judges for that. Now we will move on to our next performer who was a finalist at our live show last year, Jason. He will be singing. Hey, stop the breeze. I'm, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, come on, John. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring, ting, tingling, too. Come on, it's lovely weather for us. Yeah. 
that was very nice. Where's that song from? I wrote it. Well, all right then. This is why I didn't know it. <laughs> okay, that's awesome that you wrote a song and you can perform it. I love the louder you are, the more I like you. So <laughs> just keep that in mind if you move forward that, yeah, you really come across the louder you are, the better it is. Awesome. I, I was going to ask you the same thing if that's a song that you wrote. I really, I'm glad that the ending happened, that we could see your, your full voice. At first, I, you didn't really showcase your voice. At the end, that you mm -hmm. your, showcased your voice, so that was really good. Mm -hmm. Good job. I'm going to repeat what they just had to say, but I looked, you know, you've got this great smile. I think that, you know, you projected more at the end, I think, to your whole song with that great projection. Look at the camera, smile. Um, your voice has a lot of really interesting ranges and qualities to it, so really play on that. Nice job. Thank you, judges. Our next performance will be by Juliana, who will be singing. But the fire is so delightful And since we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow It doesn't show signs of stopping And I brought some corn for popping The lights are turned way down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow when we finally kiss goodnight How oh, I'll hate to go out in the storm But if you'll really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm
Juliana, your stage presence is lovely. Uh, I think you really need to work on your pronunciation as far as your diction, as far as, but your, your sound, as far as like you project really well and then you get softer, so that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, what was the name of that song? That song was called Just a Man from the new musical Epic. It's based on the Odyssey. I and heard it's, that song. It, yeah, it is why I picked it. I feel like it's a song that not a lot of people have heard of, and it's a song that really intrigues me. And if I get into the second round, mm -hmm. I would definitely sing more songs from the new musicals because I want to get it out. Yeah. It's a beautiful musical. The director is amazing. Started as a small thing, he, he released the first song of the musical, A Horse in the Infinite, and everybody loved it, and it kept growing and growing. So now the video, the original music video, has over, I think, six million views. Wow. Well, you have a really powerful voice, so I would agree. You know, with, well, I could hear most of your words, but if you could really clearly yeah, enunciate them, it would give the, the song a whole lot more mm -hmm. meaning. So, great job. Yeah, at the end, it's a mixture between a common and a meteor and forgive me, so I've been working all day and I really figured that out, so I was just like, okay, that's, I know that I got something. gave your whole heart and soul, which is amazing. This is so out of the box for you, I think, but you're in chorus though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, so good. I'm so proud you uh, came out here and did this, and you show you're putting everything into it. Good for you. Oh, my God. so much. Just a lot to me, and if I do get into the second round, which I hope I do, I will make sure that I continue this for this. It means a lot to me. Thank you for your time. Thank you judges. Our last performance of the day today will be another video submission. This will be from Je Jenny's, who will be doing a comedy. Uh, hello guys, I'm John Z. for those who don't know me. Um, so I kind of want to do a little story that happened quite a bit ago. Um, I got first, I need to tell you who's in my family. There's my dad, my stepmom, my baby brother, and my baby sister. But dude, I swear to you, this kid, bro, he has it out for me. Like this kid be abusing me sometimes. Like it's like getting out of hand at this point. So, um, I mean, sometimes when he comes out of daycare, like I, I love him. I love my family, don't get me wrong. Especially my brother and my sister. But bro, I come out for a hug. I'm like, yo, let me get a huggy. I'll come out for like a hug. Bro, this kid will just come at me and just start hitting me for no reason. He freaking karate chop me. He'll punch me, he'll kick me for no reason. I don't understand what this kid's problem is. I, I love him, don't get me wrong. But this kid has it out for me. And people, People were like, yo, John Z, what are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna talk about? And I was like, my baby brother, you know? And they were like, your brother? He's the most cutest thing. Like, what, what, do, what do you have to say about your brother? You guys do not understand what he does to me in the sidelines. Like, you don't know the backstory behind this kid. He's like a menace, bro. So, um, one day I'm chilling. Usually, um, I have my reflexes on point. Like, I'm like this. Like, I'm faster than Neo himself, man. Um, there's this ball that my mom bought. My stepmom, she pulls up. My stepmommy, she pulls up, comes to the house. She's like, Jensen, I got you a, uh, I got you a toy, Jensen. And I'm like, a toy? Dude, I got to check out this toy for myself. 
And when I see it, it's a plastic baby ball. And I'm like, what, what is this? It looks something out of, Fort, like something out of Fortnite, I swear to you. It, it's something like this that they get. It's something, it looks like something out of Fortnite, all right? When I see this, I'm like, what is this? What is this ball? Like, and I check it out. There's like a button you press and it just vibrates. It's like the coolest looking thing. Like, I swear to you, I wish I would have had this when I was younger. It's the coolest looking, it's like the coolest toy. And then one day I'm just relaxing, I'm chilling. And this kid, I have my hands like this, like behind my back, like I'm actually on the floor with like a, like a, um, a pillow. We're watching a movie. And this kid goes, John Z, cat! I, when, I, when he says John Z, I'm looking at him. I already see this toy ball coming at me. My hands are like coming forward, trying to grab this ball that this kid just threw at me. For no reason, I'm just trying to watch a movie. This kid throws a ball at me. My, he, he makes my lip bleed, and I'm like almost crying. I, when I get up, it's him like, oh, sorry, John, sorry, John. And then my parents laughing at me, instead of trying to like tell this kid, no, don't do this. No, we're gonna, like, we're gonna put you on timeout, no. They come at me for no reason. They're laughing at me. I, like, my parents are so messed up, man. Like, instead of, like, trying to, like, discipline this kid, they're just laughing. So, I go up. I'm going to the bathroom because I have a bleeding lip. Jensen's laughing at me. My brother, Jensen, is laughing at me. My stepmommy's laughing at me. My dad is laughing at me. My sister's laughing because she just sees people laughing. So, I'm like, bro, like, what, what, like, what is going on, bro? Dude, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know why they do this to me, honestly. Like, but I would say my parents do care about me somewhat because when I was, I was trying to look for this ball, that's actually what gave me the inspiration. I was, looking, I was in the basement, I saw the ball, and I'm like, man, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But when I saw that ball, that gave me a flashback, bro. And then when I tried to look for it this morning, I could not find it. But, yep, that's pretty much it. Thank you for listening. John, so you definitely have a great stage president, presence. You talk to your audience, um, and your home sounds like a comedy routine with a little one in the house. I'm sure there's a lot of great, funny moments and a lot of good material. Um, I would say maybe if I had any constructive feedback, I would maybe get to the point a little bit sooner in your dialogue, but um, you really had a way of talking to your audience, which was great. All right, you did make me snicker a few times. <laughs> Um, so I think if you move on, I agree. Maybe do shorter stories and a couple stories so that we don't draw things out as long and we hear a few couple different things. Uh, I, my advice would props would be props. You always want to have props when you're, when you're a comedian. So instead of the phone you know showing us a picture, bring that ball in. Uh, make sure that you're, you're, you're act, actioning out how he threw the ball at you and that you're reacting to it so that you want to get the, get the audience laughing a little bit better. Good job. And that's all for today. Please make sure to come back tomorrow as we have our five performers coming back. Uh, getting ready to make the name for themselves at Wiser. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.